Hello, welcome to a new video of Dynasty War where we talk about we're gonna level up skill or not. So obviously we're gonna talk one of these one of these four, and it's not going to be Zhao Yun because we talked about that last week already. And today we're actually gonna talk about Guan Yu. Um, why? Because he's very strong, obviously. And recently I got him to five out of five, which um, mitigates eighty percent damage. And um, that's a lot, <laughs> but uh, let's talk about his main skill first. Um, I got it to 12 out of 15, and I chose to upgrade his awakening skill first before his original skill because uh, before I used to think about his original skill not giving too much benefit. And here's the reason: right, right now it does 9,500 damage, but uh, the max maxed out um, Guan Yu for awakening is his skill does 10,000 damage. And the one for the level 50 does 8,200 damage. So you see it's a little bit less than 2,000 damage increase. And you get 1,000 from just leveling him up um, 10 extra level. And then the other 1,000 comes from the 5 level. Well, 5 levels give you uh, 1,000 damage is a lot. Okay, 1,000 damage from 5 level. On average, you get about 200 damage each level. I think you get a little bit less than that because you don't actually get 1000 from the 5 level. But anyways, you're getting a whole bunch of uh, damage from this. But in previous videos, I think I've talked about, okay, you have 9000 damage. You get an additional 1000. That's a little bit over 10%. That's, you know, that's still a lot of damage, but it's not really necessary. Um, concerning that Guan Yu, you want to have his uh, damage partnership and that will buff him by a lot already. Since most people have Guan Yu but not Zhao Yun, so they cannot complete their um, uh, damage partnership, which makes a big difference because that's a lot, couple, maybe 1000, 2000 damage difference in there already. So that's why I delay uh, leveling his original skill up for a long time because I don't see getting a 1000 1, more damage to a, you know 9000 damage base already is not that significant. I mean, if you compare it, to, let's say, um, 1,000 damage add to like a 4,000 or 5,000, obviously that's much more significant and much more um, useful. So that's why before I said, okay, well, you don't need to upgrade his original skill as early. But right now, since we have um, Hero Seal, it makes a little bit difference. As you can see, this little flame swirly thingy on, on the picture, uh, we can go to the Hero Seal right here. Uh, which is this one. Okay, this is a purple one, but what it does is it give 15% extra damage to any skill that does damage. So Guan Yu, his skill does 9,500 damage right now for me, add 15% to that. So that's a little bit over uh, 10,000 damage already. So because of for this reason, you want, there's a incentive, a little bit more advantage to upgrade his five, five level uh, because you get a little bit more damage from the hero seal. 1000 extra damage will give you 150 more damage. 150 more damage is not a lot, but it adds up when you know when you're at that level when you're using that hero seal. And that hero seal was not even like really, really good hero seal. Um, it can go up to I think 20 something percent. So it makes sense, or you have a bit more incentive to upgrade the original skill given that you're not just getting. 1000 more damage you're getting a little bit more so i would say it's a because i didn't plan on upgrading his original skill at all maybe like later but um right now i see a reason because i really want to get to that 10,000 damage plus additional 15 percent which pro probably um close to 12,000 damage and that's over six seconds which means 2,000 damage per second that's a lot right now it's doing about 16 to 1700 damage per second. So um, with the hero seal and with good attributes, I see a reason to upgrade his original skill so that you can even get more out of it. But let's talk about the awakening. Awakening skill, his awakening skill is very overpowered in my opinion and I think most people will agree and they will probably level their um, awakening skill as soon as possible anyways. So what you get is right now 80% um, it says decrease 80% damage. So basically you get um, mitigate 80% of the damage. Uh, you reduce the damage by 80%. So what it is is you're taking 20% of the actual damage. So let's say if you're getting hit by 1000 damage, you're only getting hit by 200. 
and this level or this skill you get 12% each time you level it up so if you just do the math backward you start with 32% at level 1 so if you pay 150,000 beads to awaken Wan Yu, you get 32% mitigation already. That's a lot. The next 150,000 beats, you get to level 2 level up. And you get 24% more. And then the next 150,000 beats, you get 12 more percent. And then the last one, obviously, you have to pay 200,000 beats to get the last 12%, and it adds up to 80. And um, for all heroes, obviously, the awakening skill the last couple of times is not worth um, a lot, it's not really a good deal. But why do you want to get this to 80%? Why do you want this? Because this is a more defensive skill. This is different from like an offensive skill. Because offensive skill, there's no limit to how much you want, okay? If I give you a damage buff, 10%, 20%, 100%, 200%, there's, there's no limit. You want as much as possible. But mitigation, reducing damage, there is a limit. The limit is 100%. And obviously, Guan Yu cannot go to 100%, and he could get he can get to 80%. But because there is a limit, there's a, a upper limit where you can actually reach a tangent um, goal that you can get to. You want to get to that point, and it makes sense to get to that point because 12% increases a lot. And in fact, I think if you if I could pay 200,000 beads to get even 5% uh, reduced damage for any hero, I will do that because. Reducing damage is so much powerful because the reason there is a cap, 100% will make your hero unkillable. And if you, well, the other way to think about it is to reverse it. Think about the damage you're actually taking, which is 20%. Each time you upgrade this awakening skill, you're taking 12% less damage. At 5 out of 5, you're only taking 20% damage. At 4 out of 5, you're taking 32% damage. At 3 out of 5, you're taking 44% damage. Then you see, okay, well, actually, I want to get to the lowest as, as soon as possible. I want to get to taking 20% damage. What that means is, yeah, if you get hit by 1,000, you get hit by 200. And that lasts for 9 seconds. His skill does, his skill lasts for 6 seconds. So you, after his skill's uh, ending, uh, finished, you have 3 more seconds of basically this um, state where you don't die at all you rarely will die in this state because getting two uh getting 20 percent uh damage from your, your your attacker it's not it's really minimum because i mean how, you if you get burned down by two purgatory tower you're not gonna die uh maybe if you're surrounded by heroes and they do constantly I mean, Guan Yu has a decent amount of HP. If you have treasure as well, then it's a lot. Because let's say if you're getting hit by 10,000 damage over the whole entire skill, that's a little bit about 1,000 uh, damage per second. That's only 2,000 damage that he's taking. He has 6,536 at its by, his, by himself. And throughout the first 6 seconds, whoever is attacking you might die already. So because of this mitigation, um, He's actually pretty effective against Crazy Juju because Crazy Juju will reflect damage and throughout his skill, if Crazy Juju take all the damage, 10,000 damage, Crazy Juju most likely will die, um, if not, probably one or two more strikes and 10,000 damage we, with uh, Crazy Juju shield, that will reflect 50%, so that's 5,000, but you have to go through another 80%, which basically is like 1,000 damage that's being dealt back to Guan Yu, which is very insignificant that's over <laughs> over six seconds so as you can see you you're going you have to be being attacked by a lot of different things maybe a Zhao Yun spear at the right time that will do four three thousand ish damage take 80 percent away from it 600 damage that's what it's doing maybe hit he got hit by um all three of machinist cards that's about two thousand each so six thousand take it in the eighty percent well, that's about 1,200 damage. It's only a couple thousand damage. If you basically he won't die. <laughs> that's the end of the story. If you don't use it, if you don't use his skill at the last second, he's not gonna die. He does not obviously regenerate any HP by himself, so he cannot sustain himself. But 20% damage. Probably if you if both Purgatory Tower and all four of the Thunder Formation and all three of the Magic Crossbow attacking him at the same time, you might see his HP going down 
especially if the Purgatory Tower is is at um it's been targeted uh, for a long time. But I mean, most structures do damage under two hundred DPS. So take that over the reduced by eighty percent. That's only like forty forty damage per second. He has a couple thousand. He's not gonna take any, he's not gonna take any damage basically. So. I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone would disagree that Guan Yu's awakening skill is very overpowered and you should upgrade that as soon as possible. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.